In this video, I'll be doing a step-by-step -step beginner's tutorial on how to leverage trade using the Femix Exchange. I'm going to show you how to make a deposit, how to transfer funds into your contract account, I'll get you familiar with the user interface and go over contract fees, I will show you how to place limit orders as well as market orders, and how to set stop losses as well as take profit targets. All of that and more with some tips and tricks along the way. If this is your first time signing up on the Femix Exchange, you can take advantage of my affiliate link in the pinned comment down below. Use this link to sign up and you'll get a nice welcoming bonus of at least $100, as well as a 10% discount on all your trading fees. Depending on when you're viewing this tutorial, you may even catch one of their deposit dazzles or special events and get up to $2,000 on qualifying deposits. So feel free to sign up using my link in the pinned comment down below. I've also included timestamps in the description of this video, so feel free to skip ahead to the section that may be most relevant to you. Don't forget to subscribe as I'll be uploading more Femix tutorials in the future. Let's get into the video. Once you've created your account, the first step is to make a deposit. Here on the home page, you can do so by clicking on deposit right here in this little assets window, or you can come up here to the top right hand side of the screen, hover over assets, and from this drop down menu, you can click where it says deposit. On the deposit page here, you'll see that it's currently set to BTC. You can actually change that by clicking on it. And from this drop down menu, you can select whatever cryptocurrency that you wish to make a deposit with. However, I do believe it's easiest just to use Bitcoin in order to collect your bonus as well as funding your contract account on the next step. So for this tutorial, I'll just leave it on BTC. Then you come down here and click on deposit. And this is where you're going to find your Femix BTC deposit address. You can simply copy it by clicking on copy address. Or if you're sending your crypto from a smartphone, you could hover over show QR code and you can scan this code here. I'm going to head back to the home page by clicking on the Femix logo top left hand side of the screen. Once your Bitcoin arrives, it'll be in your BTC spot wallet. To get to your spot wallet, just come up here to the top right hand side of the screen and hover over assets. From this drop down menu here, come on down and click on spot wallet. And here's where you'll find your BTC spot wallet, as well as all your other altcoins. And let's head back to the home page. Now that you've made your deposit, the next step is to fund your contract account so that you can trade using leverage. In order to do that, come up here to the top right hand side of the screen and hover over assets. From this drop down menu here, come on down to contract account and give that a click. And this is going to bring you over to the assets page and as you can see, we're currently set to contract trading accounts. Down below, you'll see two contract accounts. BTC is for trading BTC using leverage and USD contract account is for trading any of the alt pairings, including gold. So let's start off by transferring into BTC. We can find the BTC transfer in button over here on the right hand side under action. We'll give that a click. And in this pop-up window here, Femix is letting us know that we're transferring Bitcoin from our BTC spot wallet into the contract trade account. Down below, you'll see your available balance. And in this box here, you can type in a custom amount that you wish to send in like so or you can just simply click on all, then click confirm, and you'll see transfer was successful. When I close this window out, you can now see that we funded the BTC trading account. And when the time comes down the road that you want your BTC back in your spot wallet, you can do that by simply coming over here, clicking on transfer out. Now this pop-up window is letting us know that we're sending the BTC from the contract trade account back into the spot wallet. I'll just go ahead and click on all, confirm, Transfer successful. I'll go ahead and close this out. And when I come back over here to spot wallets, you'll see that the Bitcoin is back in the spot wallet here. Now I'll show you how to fund your USD contract account to trade the altcoins. Come back up here and click on contract trading accounts. Then come down here to your USD contract account and click on transfer in. Now this window here is letting us know that we're sending USD from the spot wallet into the contract trade account. However, we don't have USD, we have Bitcoin, so we're going to have to convert it. In order to do that, we'll come up here and just click on convert. And on this page here, Femix is letting us know that we're now converting Bitcoin into USD. We're going to want to make sure that this box down here is checked. It says once the conversion is complete, transfer funds directly into the contract trading account. 
From here, we can come up and put in a custom amount of Bitcoin that we wish to convert to USD, or we could just simply click on all. Come down and click on get quotation. And you have seven seconds to execute here. And this is letting you know how much USD you're going to receive for your BTC. Click confirm. Conversion successful. Then click on done. And now you can see that we converted our Bitcoin to USD and it's now here in our USD contract account. Now we're ready to trade some alts. Now that you've funded your contract account, it's time to check out the pairings and put on some trades. To see all the market pairings, just come up here to the top left hand side of the screen and click on markets. To get to the contract pairings from here, you just come over here and click on contract. And on this page here, you're going to see all the contract pairings that you're able to trade using leverage. Remember, when you're trading these altcoins, you're going to have to fund your USD contract account. I have my BTC contract account funded, so I will demonstrate by using BTC. When you're ready to make a trade, you come over here to buy sell under action and give that a click. And here's the user interface where all the trading happens. It is possible that your UI is looking a little bit different than mine. And if that's the case, it could simply be because everything here is customizable. If I come up over here to the top right hand side of the screen and hover over this little cogwheel, you'll see in this little drop down menu here that I have this chart trading layout selected. You can also click on this one here and it literally flips everything around. But I do like this trading layout the best, so I'll be rolling with this for the duration of the tutorial. I will also point out that you can grab onto the tops of each of these panels and you can actually drag and drop them anywhere that you like. If you come down to the bottom right hand side of the panel, you can grab onto the corner of it and literally resize it to anything that you like as well. So definitely take some time and get this set up the way that you like it. Over here in the top left hand side of the screen is your order panel. And this is where you can toggle between limit order, market order and conditional orders. More on that shortly. And dropping down below that, you can find the leverage bar. Here's where you can adjust the amount of leverage that you wish to use on any given trade. If I wanted to adjust the leverage from 2x to 5x, I'd just grab onto the slider bar here and I'd slide it up to 5x. And that's how you change the amount of leverage. Down here in the bottom left hand side of the page is the contract details. Here's where you'll find the open interest as well as the funding rate. And I do like to pay attention to the funding rate. At the time of recording, you can see the funding rate is a positive 0.01%. This means that longs are paying shorts the funding rate every eight hours to hold their positions. If you ever see a negative funding rate down here, that means that shorts are paying longs the funding rate to hold on to their positions. To the right of that is where you're going to find all your open positions once you execute a trade. If you have any active orders, you'd find those here by clicking on active orders and your conditional orders would be found here. Up above that is the order book and the chart to the right of that is powered by TradingView. So you can actually access basic drawing tools as well as basic indicators. I do use TradingView to do all my charting. I find I can get more data there and do more in-depth analysis and TradingView is free to use. So I'll go ahead and leave a link for that in the description down below as well as in the pinned comments. From here, if you'd like to access your drawing tools, you come down here to the bottom left hand side of the chart and click on this little blue arrow. And here's where you'll find your drawing tools. Your time frames can be found at the top and if you wish to change it, you just simply click on the time frame that you wish to look at. Pretty straightforward stuff there. And over to the right of that, you can find the indicators tab. If you give that a click, here's where you'll find all the basic trading view indicators. If you're looking for something specific, such as the RSI, you could just simply type that in to the search bar here. And you can add the relative strength index by giving it a click. And now we have the RSI up on the chart. If you wish to save your chart layout, click on the chart, then hold down control, press S. And here's where you can give your chart layout a name. Then you can click on save. And that's how you save your chart layout. I'm just gonna close the RSI here. To the right of that is all the recent trades. At the time of recording, you see a mix of buys and sells coming in. When the market gets really volatile, you'll see this panel gets quite active over here. And if you want to change from dark mode to light mode, you can come up here to this cog wheel, come down and click on theme from this drop down menu. And that's how you change things to light mode. I do like dark mode, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it on dark mode for this tutorial as well. If you want to change the pairing from here, you can come up over here to the top left hand side of the screen and click on select market. If you're looking to trade on leverage, you want to make sure that this is on contract 
and you can come down here and select the pairing that you wish to trade. So you could trade Cardano by clicking on add a USD. And now we're looking at Cardano. So I'm going to head back over to BTC versus USD. Before I demonstrate on how to place some trades, it's always a good idea to consider the fees. And the fees can be found if you come up here and hover over company, come down, click on fees and conditions. Come down here, click on contract trading. And this brings you down to the fees here. And as you can see, if you're going to be a market taker, so this means if you're going to be using the market orders, you're going to pay the exchange a fee of 0.075% every single time you execute a market order. If you want to be a market maker using limit orders, Femix will pay you in the form of a rebate of 0.025% on your trades. So it's always a good idea, even just from the standpoint of fees, to try to use the limit orders as often as possible. To get back to Bitcoin USD, I'm just going to go up here and click back a couple times. And now we're back to BTC versus USD. I'll start off by showing you how to place limit orders. And limit orders allow you to choose a price that you wish to enter at and place that order on the order books. This makes you a market maker and you'll get a 0.025% rebate on your fees for using limit orders. So it's always a good idea to try to execute limit orders as often as possible, especially if you're going to be trading with large position sizes. The first step to placing a limit order is finding an area on the chart that you either wish to be a buyer and go long or a seller and go short. So I'm going to quickly grab a horizontal. And let's stick that on right here. And let's say you're looking at this chart and you're thinking to yourself, if price action is to retrace down to this level here, that you'd like to be a buyer and go long. In order to do that, come over to your order panel and under limit price, you'd type that in. So 44,878. Down below that, you type in the amount of contracts that you wish to trade with. And as you can see, one contract equals one USD. You can also use this slider bar right here to select the amount of contracts that you wish to trade with. For this demonstration, I'll just put in 100 contracts. Down here in this little box, I typically make sure that post only is checked. If I hover over that quickly, you'll see that it says here, a post only order will not execute immediately against the market used to ensure a maker rebate. So that's how you make sure you get that 0.025% rebate on your fees. Down below here in the leverage panel, you'll see that I have this set to 5X. And in a nutshell, what this means is, is that I'm using $20 of my own money to trade with $100 worth of Bitcoin. If I wanna slide this down to 2X like this, now this means I'm using $50 of my own money to trade with $100 worth of Bitcoin. And a couple advantages to this is that it frees up the remainder of my capital to put into other trades if I choose, and it also has the potential to maximize my gains. And an obvious downside to this is that it can also maximize my losses or get my entire position liquidated if I'm not using a stop loss. So it's always a good idea to consider proper risk management with a stop loss. Now that I'm ready to place the order, I just come up and click on buy long. Then you'll see this little pop-up window here, and this has some important information to review before placing the order, such as your estimated liquidation price. In this case here, you can see that's $30,018. Now, quick tip with this. The more leverage that you use, the closer your liquidation is going to be to your entry price. So definitely worth considering when selecting the amount of leverage that you wish to use. You can also set a take profit in this box by clicking right here where it says take profit. And just for fun, let's say we're targeting 50,000. We type that in here. Femix is letting us know what our estimated profit would be if the order fills and then reaches the target. And then we can set a stop loss by checking right here. And let's just say we want to get out of the way if price action goes below 44,000. Then Femix will let us know what our estimated loss would be if the order fills and then the trade goes against us. When you're ready, you click on confirm. And now you've placed that limit order on the order books. And now you can see the order on the chart itself in this little green box. If you want to amend this order, you can actually grab onto this box and move it wherever you like. So you could drag it down to those wicks like this, or you could pull it up to the tops of these wicks right here. And as you can see, every time I do that, it actually amends the order. You can also view the order now under the active orders tab right here by giving that a click. And from here, there's two ways to cancel the order. You can come over here to the right hand side and click on cancel, or you can actually cancel it by clicking on this little X inside the green box here. And now I've canceled the order. 
A market order is going to fill immediately at the best available price. This makes you a market taker because you're removing liquidity from the order book. Because of this, you will pay a fee of 0.075%. Also keep slippage in mind. Because the order is filling at the best available price, you may not get your desired entry, especially if the market is really volatile. Therefore, you could be starting out in a position that's already in a slight loss. To place a market order, come back to your order panel and click on Market. Once again, put in the amount of contracts that you wish to trade. Then drop down and use this slider bar to select the amount of leverage that you wish to use on the position. And if you're betting on the price to go up, you'd click on buy long. And if you're betting on the price to go down, you'd click on sell short. I'll just go ahead and hit buy long. Then we'll get this pop-up window again where we can set our take profit and stop loss. But I'm going to show you another way that you can do that. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit confirm. And now you'll see that I have an active order under open positions. From here, you can set your take profit and your stop loss. By coming over here at the bottom right hand side, you'll see where it says TPSL. And just down below that, give that a click. In this pop-up window here, we'll tick the take profit. And I'll just use 50,000 again. Then tick where it says stop loss. And here I'll just put in 49,000. Then click confirm. And now we've added a take profit as well as a stop loss. And we can see them up here on the chart. If you look left over here, this little red box is our entry. So the box up above that's obviously the take profit. And then the one down below would be our stop loss. If we want to amend the take profit, we can grab onto the box and we can just drag it up something like this. And now you can see that we've amended our take profit up to $50,980. And if I want to cancel those, I could just click the X inside the red box. And now we canceled both the take profit as well as the stop loss. If you'd like to manually close the position or reduce your position size, you can do that by coming down here to where it says close position and you'll have two options here. You can close it on limit, but if you're in a hurry to close the trade, you could use the market option here. So I'll give the market option a click and here you'll see close by market and the amount of contracts. And we know our position size is a hundred contracts. So if we wanted to reduce the size, we just do something like this. We could, we could just sell 50 contracts if we want. We could sell 25 or we could just get rid of the entire position. When ready, click confirm. And now you'll see that we've exited the position. And there you have it, a quick introduction to leverage trading on the Femix Exchange. Thank you so much for coming by and checking out this video. May good fortune be upon you. Trade safely. Looking forward to seeing the next one. And until I do, take care.